Welcome back. And now that we have everything in place, the grid line and the walls in place, now we want to configure or set our or define the columns and the beams prior to placement on uh, on the plan here. Now, to set or to configure the, the beams and the columns, what you do, we come to, we go to design and under design, we'll come to settings right here. So under settings here, I'll come to, uh, first of all, let's define the beams. Let me click on that plus sign adjacent to beams. Then we have so many things to configure here. We have uh, reinforcement settings, we have detailing settings, we have the top longitudinal bar pattern. So let's begin with the reinforcement settings. I'll click on that. So this is dependable on on the, the standards you pick to work on, or in my case, I've, I've picked the, the UK standards. So if you take a look on the longitudinal bars, I have minimum bar size, I have maximum bar size, I have minimum side bar size. So under minimum bar size, the minimum bar size, uh, bar size I'm going to use under beams, the minimum will be eight. Uh, and uh, the type, rib type, I'll, I'll keep it at type two, though we have various types. So I'll just keep it at type two. And uh, grade, I'll retain it at 500 right there. And uh, the size, I'll give it uh, at eight. I'll give it eight and click OK. So if I come to maximum bar size, I'll give it this, I'll give this, at, I'll give it this 20 millimeter dia. And minimum, minimum bar size will be. Eight. Let me just take it eight and change the, the other one to to ten to twelve. Let me give it eight, and this one will change it to twelve. Let me change this to twelve, and give it an OK. So I'm done with the, the beam the, the beam section the beam side and the and under the section of of reinforcement settings. So we can go further and configure the rest, but the rest I'll just retain them at at uh, at the default settings. So let me just click and highlight. And our detail settings here, you can see longitudinal bars. If I click there, you can see uh, use the same size bar in the in uh, multi-layer arrangement. I'll just leave it as unchecked like that. Cut length, I'll retain it at that. Longitudinal bar curtailment, it is, I'll, I'll retain it at that. And end support curtailment and steel up, I'll retain it at that. Come to top longitudinal bar pattern, I'll, re, I'll retain it as that. You can see the display right there. The bottom longitudinal bar pattern is that, and the steel up settings is that, and general parameters are retain it at default level. Now let me go to columns. So if I come to columns and click the first option here, reinforcement layout, and if I click on that, and I'll pick the minimum bar size, minimum I'll retain it at 12, and the maximum here I'll take it to 20. I'll take it to 20 right there and click OK. Uh, the grade, I'll retain it at 500. The rib type, I'll retain it at type 2. I'll click OK. Now, if I come to minimum bar size, bar size on the sidebars, sidebars, I'll give it, I'll take this to, I'll, I'll leave it at 8 millimeter. And maximum, this one will be 12. This one, I'll give it 12 right there and click OK. And that's it. So if I come to, if I come to, Detailing settings, okay, if you come to detailing settings, I can leave it at that. And if you come to ties, I can check on that. General parameters, I can leave it as it is. So once you've done so, just go ahead and click OK. So in here, we want to configure, we want to start placing the beams and the columns. So let's begin with the, with the, with the columns, then we'll move to the beams. Then, then I'll, I'll come to... I'll come to model, then come to columns here. I'll click on that drop down arrow and click on the columns. So if I click on the columns, you can take a look on the bottom end here under properties here. This is where we define this, all the sizes, all the properties of, of a particular element like slab, beam, and columns. So if I scroll down here to sections and element prop, uh, param, uh, parameters, I'll go all the way to anywhere written sections here. Let me just uh, scroll carefully so that I don't miss on anything. So let me just scroll and um, my target is sections. So I think sections here, we have under sections here, by default our column is 400 by 400, but this is slightly bigger. I'll click on that. So the moment you click on it, you'll be prompted with the symbol of a drop down arrow. So you click on that, that drop down arrow and click on new stroke edit. We want to customize our own. So under breadth, 
I'll type 200 and uh, the depth here I'll just type 200 and click OK. So then once I click OK, I'll come here and click Save to save that column and click, uh, I'll save it at C1 right there and click OK. So the moment I click OK, I'll be able now to come here and place my column right there and place a, uh, place a column right there, place a column right here and come all the way and place another one here and come here and place another one here and place another one here. So what I'm going to do, let me just undo because I need to, I need, I need to do some changes here. So this is okay. So the next column that I'm going to define, we have different sides of the column, so I have to define another one. I'll come back to column here. Let me just come back to column. Let me just scroll down and go back where we were before and click on, on the column, click on drop down arrow and click new edit. So we want to create another one. We want to this time put that 300 and click OK. So the moment I click OK, I'll be able to come back and save this as C2. So that will be C2, I'll click OK. So the moment I click OK, I'll be able to place this one here and uh, place another one, another one somewhere here. Let me, I can, I can do, I can do away with this. I can select on this and do away with it. OK, so I'll come back here and uh, place another column right there. One that I've placed another one here, so I can go back again and define a, a different size of, of the column. So I'll come back here and just scroll down and click on it that way. Click on that and click create another one. So this time round, I'm going to put it uh, 200 and the bottom end that death I'll define as 300. So I'll click OK. So then once I click OK, I'll be able to place another column there, another column here another column there, another column here, another one there, and another one here. So th that's the way we'll do it, and uh, that's enough. We don't need a column here, though we, yes, we need a column here. So we'll place another column there. So that's it. So let's meet then on the next presentation on how we'll be placing our beams on the next presentation. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is Maurice Dimba, and bye-bye.